What if I told you that there was an animal that could walk on water? It catches prey by sensing vibrations in the water, and it can even breathe underwater. Would you believe that such an animal really exists? Well, it does, and it's probably not what you are expecting at all. This animal is in fact a spider. Hi, I'm Matthew, and today I'll be introducing you to the Dolomides aquaticus, or fishing spider, and its amazing abilities and interactions with nature. This is one arachnid that you'll arachnid to see. <laughs> you might be wondering, how is it even possible for the fishing spider to walk on water? The answer is surface tension. What is surface tension? One example is when you fill a glass of water above the rim and it doesn't overflow. This is because water is a polar molecule, meaning that one side of the molecule has a positive charge and the other has a negative charge. This creates dipole-dipole bonds. Since in water the hydrogen is covalently bonded with the oxygen, it creates hydrogen bonding, which is a very strong type of bond. The hydrogen bonding of the water is stronger at the surface. In the middle of the water droplet, there are attractive forces all around the water molecule. However, at the surface, there is no attractive force from above because there is no more water there, only air. Since the surface has fewer bonds, those bonds at the surface need to be stronger than those in the interior, which is what forms surface tension. Now that we know what surface tension is, let's see how the fishing spider uses it to its advantage. The fishing spider has waxy legs. Wax is non-polar, making it hydrophobic, meaning that it gets repelled by water. This makes it so that when the fishing spider comes into contact with the water surface, it will not become wet. The fishing spider will not sink into the water, unless its weight exceeds the opposing force of the water surface tension. However, this will not happen, as the spider is light and its weight is evenly distributed across 8 legs that all come in contact with the water. This is what allows the fishing spider to walk on water, and this is very important, as the fishing spider uses this ability to catch its prey. This is a model that I made that illustrates the interactions that the water molecules have, as well as its interactions with the fishing spider. The structure over here is water. Here, we zoom in and you can see both the intramolecular and intermolecular forces, namely polar covalent bonds and hydrogen bonds. At the top of the water molecule, this is where the hydrogen bonds are stronger, as there are fewer of them. Here, we can see how the wax repels water on a micro scale. There are London dispersion forces between the wax and the water, which is what allows the fishing spider to not become wet and to be able to walk on water. Surface tension is also what enables the fishing spider to stay underwater for prolonged periods of time. It has waterproof hairs near its abdomen that capture air before it submerges, acting like a sort of air tank. Since the abdomen is waxy, just like how the wax on its legs repel water, the wax in its abdomen do the same thing. This results in the fishing spider being able to hold enough oxygen to submerge for over 30 minutes each time. This evolution is extremely important as the fishing spider uses this skill to evade predators. Climate change is a real problem that is happening right now. Even a slight increase in temperature can result in drastic changes to the ecosystem and how it functions. Let's look at an example. What if the temperature increased by 5 degrees? Well, as temperature increases, water molecules start to move faster, resulting in the intermolecular forces, or IMFs, becoming more unstable. Therefore, the cohesive forces at the surface will become weaker. This has a huge impact on the fishing spider as the surface tension might now not be strong enough to sustain the weight of the spider. If this is the case, then it will not be able to hunt for food and will most likely die out. This will cause a huge imbalance in the ecosystem as not only will its predator's food source be greatly diminished, but also the fishing spider's prey will most likely overpopulate. The fishing spider is a unique animal that utilizes one of the bulk properties of water, surface tension, to its advantage. Its evolutionary changes have allowed it to use surface tension to catch food and avoid danger. Thank you for watching my video and I hope you learned something new.